today at New Vocations, and I am speaking with Anna Ford. And Anna, I think I, if I understand it right, you are the daughter of the founder of New Vocations, correct? That's correct, yeah. So your mother actually was the founder? She did. She started the program in 1992. Um, she was a 4-H advisor at the time, and um, she was also running my father's uh, breeding uh, operation. They had a broodmare, standard bred broodmare operation in Laurel, Ohio. And so, as being a 4-H advisor, she was uh, aware of all the kids that really wanted horses but couldn't afford expensive horses. Mm -hmm. So she was always on the lookout for inexpensive horses for her students and kids to, to take on. And one day, um, there was a van that came to the breeding farm, to the broodmare farm, and um, they were unloading some horses that were coming to the farm. And my mom jumped in the trailer to see what else was on, on the rig. And uh, there were several thoroughbreds. And she said, what are, what, are, what are these horses, you know? And, and the guy said, these are thoroughbreds, they're freebies. They just give them away at the track. Wow. And she said, what, what do you mean they give them away? And so that was her introduction of learning that they, people were giving these very um, well-bred, very capable horses away when they were done racing. So she put the two and two together and was like, I have all these kids that need horses, but they can't afford expensive horses. We've got all these really nice horses that are done with one purpose, being racing, and could go on and do something else. And so she started New Vocations. And the first year, um, she just put up signs at all the local racetracks and got 24 horses donated to her. Very good. And to date, how many horses have gone through the program, roughly? <laughs> over 5,000. Over 5,000. That's amazing. Yeah, we're taking in over 400 horses a year right now. Great, and the main the main purpose of it is to retrain. I love your I love your sweatshirt. Raise to race, recycle to ride. Right, new vocations. What we do our, our three main uh, roles are: we rehab, we retrain, and we rehome the horses that come into the program. Mm -hmm. And that's what we solely focus our mission on. Um, we're not a retirement farm. We don't retire them out to green pastures because we don't have the luxury of doing that. Um, but every horse that comes into our program, our goal is to find them a home, mm -hmm. get them healthy, and find them a new vocation. And from what I've from what I've gathered by taking the tour and stuff, a lot of them are just maybe they just weren't fast enough for racing. Mm -hmm. There, there's a lot of reasons why they end up here. Absolutely. It, I mean, the number one reason is due to some type of injury. Um, these horses are athletes. Um, they will have minor things come up. Um, one of the number one reasons why they slow down is because something's bothering them, whether it's something minor or major. Um, but the majority of the injuries that we get in can be rehabbed and the horses can go on to do something, uh, a second career, anything from jumping to barrel racing to dressage, cross country, you know, they can, they can really do it all. They're very smart athletic horses. Okay. And so tell me a little bit about this horse. How long has she been here and what's what's the general routine when you get one in? Well Holly's been here for just going on two months and so the first uh, couple weeks we just let her relax and um, you know, she she hadn't been turned out for at least a year or so living at the track. Living <laughs> tell in me her she's stall. not a ham. Like we weren't talking about her and she's not <laughs> fidgeting and now she's like hey it's all about me. <laughs> like, <laughs> She knows where the camera is. Um, okay. We, she wanted to be talked about. Um, so, yeah, so we just let her relax and, and get a buddy and get used to being turned out. She adjusted to that. Um, we could tell she was very um, sensitive mm -hmm. there. Uh, so we did some groundwork with her, got her used to going out into the arena, um, looking at some of the things that we have out there. Um, and so then we started riding her, and she's she's like a little Ferrari to ride. She, mm -hmm. You don't have to give her much leg. You don't have to give her um, much cues to get her to do what you want her to do. And so right now we're just really getting her to move forward and relax mm -hmm. and, and just um, take a deep breath. And she's been doing really well. So. Great. You had a really cute picture on the Facebook page a few days ago with a couple of the thor thoroughbreds out in the fog. Mm -hmm. And it looked like one was looking one way and one was looking the other. And one thing that kind of, I don't know, I, I just hadn't given it much thought was that they aren't used to being out in the pastures like that in groups. What would be some of the things people would be a little bit surprised to know that, they, that the horses don't know? I mean, they, they have a lot of exposure coming from the track in one way, 
but then there's some common things that they're that they're not used to. Yeah. What might be some of those things? Well, the biggest thing is that you know they live in their stalls at the track 23 hours a day, and so um, you know they come out to be trained. They go out to the track, whether they gallop, jog, whatever, and then they are walked, and then they're bathed and put away. Um, so that's right there is something huge. You know, when we first put them outside, we put them out in a round pen. Um, we start off really slow. Some of them we have to sedate just so that they can relax. And you know, think it'd be very natural for them to go outside, but it's not. And the majority of them, when they first go out for the first time, they kind of stand there like, well, what am I supposed to do? You know, <laughs> What's I don't, the point? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So it, it's the simple things that they're not used to, but they can quickly adjust to it. But it's important that um, when we get them, that we slowly help them adjust to that. Uh, because if you don't, then that's when you can get into trouble and, and they can get really nervous about it. So I, I, what I say, it's like taking a workaholic and telling them to retire, you know, <laughs> on the beach or something. Like, they would, you wouldn't know what to do with yourself. Like, right. they'd be like you, you know, like, yeah. you know, you'd need to go retire on some island and do nothing for, yeah, you know, a month. Like, oh, yeah, you would probably not know how to transition to that right away. Mm -hmm. It would take time. So, um, that's what we do. We try to do it smoothly and, and, um. You know, I do think the horses communicate with each other, and everyone's here for the same reason. And they, as soon as we get them with a buddy that shows them what they've done, um, you know, they, they they calm right down and they relax and they get used to it. Great. Well, thank you for your time, and I'm enjoying watching you ride. I'm gonna follow you out here. Okay. Time a little bit, but thank <laughs> Hopefully, you it's not too entertaining. <laughs>